Hello everybody, welcome to the next installment of the Manga Diaries series volume 2, I guess is what I'm gonna call this. Um, so I just got in this package from By Japan, which is a Japanese proxy service that I use. Um, all of this was purchased from Mercari Japan and Yahoo Auctions. This is my first time with my orders ever coming in a plastic mailer instead of a box, so let's get into it. Okay, so I just got it open. It is this bizarre looking bag. Um, let's see if I can... Okay, it looks like we'll have to use... Okay, here are the bags. Let's get into it. Starting off the first bag, we have... Ooh, we have a Kozucha blind box, and inside we have Miss Sana. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I have the Akita one, so now I have the Sana one to go with it. Um, I believe I'm only missing the metal charms, which I don't really want, and the Akita acrylic stand, which I do want. Um, then... In the second bag, um... Paper is so easy to write. This one is just not being nice to me. Oh well. Okay, in the second bag here we have some Rise with Tanagai uh, little uh, shishiki boards. So let's see which ones we got. This is a pretty good deal. It was three for nine dollars, which in my opinion is a good deal, especially since it is some newer artwork that just came out. I love Yakuza Fiancé so much. I am so beyond excited for it to actually be getting a physical copy. Oh my goodness, we have the female lead Yoshino. Like, look how stunning she is. These are actually around the same size. I was expecting a little bit smaller, but like, look at her. She is gorgeous. So we have Yoshino. Um, I honestly don't know which ones I have all coming in here. Oh... Oh my goodness, this one we have of Yoshino and Kirishima the male lead. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful they are. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. And then in this one... We have... Oh yes, this is the main reason why I bought the entire set. I forgot his name, okay? But yes, I really... My cat loves him too, as you guys can tell. Like, oh my goodness! Gorgeous. Like, look at this artwork. Beautiful, stunning, amazing. I'm so excited to add this onto my Rise with Tenka E shrine of a shelf that I have in my detolf. Um, next bag we have here... have these I went off of the Yahoo Japan auctions uh, and these are the Kodomo no Omocha um, little uh, keychains so we have Sana we have you know we got the other guys we got Akito we got my boy Maru literally so excited um, my God, these are like look at Maru like look at him he is gorgeous I really wanted these but I did not want to buy the entire set nor could I find the entire set. Um, but the reason why I did not want to buy the entire set was, be was because I hate Fuka so much. I literally hate Fuka with all of my heart. So I was so excited when I found a set that had everyone but Fuka. Yay! <laughs> okay, I think we have two more things left in here. Let's go for this big thing. Ooh la la. And this is another thing I won off of Yahoo Japan Auctions. And this is the New Year edition for the uh, Ribbon Magazine. I believe this is the Ribbon Magazine. Yes, the Ribbon Magazine from 1998. Um, yeah, I won it for like a few bucks. And I just really got it for the cover with Sana on the front here because I mean, 
I am a Kadocha enthusiast, you know? You gotta go after the uh, unique items. And I don't really have any ribbon magazines at all in my collection. So, of course, I saw it and I snagged it. Um, yeah, let's see what's in here. So, this originally retailed for 400 yen. Oh my goodness. And it has all the original add ins. So, it has like these postcards. Ooh, that still have like glitter on them. Oh my goodness. And we have some like, I believe this is Gokin Monogatari right here. This is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. And like all of the old shoujo toys. Like this is always so fun to look in these things because of just <clears throat> like it's just like a time capsule. So yeah, it's so cool that I got this. I'm so beyond excited that I have this in my collection. This is such a cool one. Like here's a Kodocha chapter. Oh my goodness. So this is when it was still um airing. Wow, when the it was still in publication this is really cool okay i'm really excited so yeah i have the 1998 new year one there is just a slight bit of damage here on the back but besides that it is in pretty good condition um yeah i'm just wow okay and the last thing we have in here was the entire reason why i actually made this order and that is that in my last uh proxy order i forgot to consolidate this item into the cart because i'm a goof um so i just ordered a few things to go with it and it is a mini acrylic stand from one of my favorite um lgbtq series jealousy i love mafia series as you guys know this is a great mafia series and like look how cute it is from the cherry 10th anniversary so we just have the, the main character uchi here um eating some cake so cute this was like two dollars how could i not like how could i not this is amazing <laughs> so here's everything i got in this clip and i will see you guys in the next clip okay everyone so it is time to file a couple of things um that i just got so i have the uh Kodocha, uh, little mini figures, and the sauna button. If you guys are thinking it's weird that I've yet to open up any of this stuff, it is because I normally keep them closed or in packaging until I wish to display them because when I get to open them, it's like Christmas. So yeah, first off, I'm gonna start with this button. And since I really like the design of it, I think I'm gonna put it in the front of one of these. Okay, I'm sorry, Junta. Go. And then for my mini figures, here is my minifigure drawer. I'm gonna put some more back here so that I have room for the new minifigures. Okay, some of my least favorite ones I guess back here. It's a pretty big one. So I guess I'm gonna put all of my My Hero and my Yuri on Ice one back there. Ah. Freeze it back there as well. So now we just have the fruits basket ones in the front and all the others in the back. There we go. Voila. So yeah, that's normally how I file stuff. This is uh, from the container store in case anyone else is wondering. Okay, everyone. So it is time to do my Christmas display. I already put up my Christmas tree and I used uh, some of the keychains from that I opened up uh, earlier in this video as like little ornaments and I put a little button up there as a tree topper. I think it's really cute and I really like it. Um, I have some things laid out that I want to add to this kind of top of my detolf, so let's get into it. Okay, first things first, I have this uh, uh, ribbon magazine you guys, show, you guys saw me open up earlier. I really like how that looks because it's like winter themed. I think it's gonna be really cute. I want something to cover this really ugly base, but I don't have any like mini presents. So I'm gonna use this MXTX, uh, oh my gosh, MDCS uh, Shikishi board. It's gonna put it like there. I also have this Lloyd and this Your acrylic stand um, of like them popping champagne and like a little confetti. And I think this would be good for like a New Year's type of vibe. Away they go. I have this little remint I never know where to put, so I'm just gonna put that on top of there. I think it fits because in the shikishi, they're eating watermelon and it's like a watermelon, so. Lastly, I have this Kimetsu no Yaiba uh, can badge. I opened up ages ago in a video. Um, yeah, it's Christmas themed. I've been waiting for a opportunity to use this as decor, so I'm so excited to put it up. 
and away it goes. Okay, here's what the final product looks like. I am really loving it. I really like it. I think it's Christmassy, but also still very much matches the rest of my room with some random summer elements. But yeah, I really like it overall. Okay, everyone. So I just stopped by a local new and used bookstore to check out some of the manga that they have here. I saw this old shoujo beat series I have absolutely like never heard of before. If you guys know what it's about or if you guys have it in your collection, let me know. I saw Vampire Dormitory. I don't really know what it's about. I think the title explains it pretty well though, what I assume it would be about. I saw this really cool old uh, Dark Horse series called XS Hybrid. Um, I've heard of it before. I not really sure what it's about i know dark horse series tend to be more seinen type but yeah they had a whole bunch of used naruto volumes which is really cool to see that they had a big chunk of that i would have gotten it but i'm not really collecting naruto right now so i did not end up getting it i saw a volume of my love story some my hero academia they really do have a great selection especially compared to the last time when i was here i saw princess jellyfish priest um, yeah, I also saw Requiem of the Rose King, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, I was looking for volume 16 at the time of the recording this and they did not have it. Um, they had The Promised Neverland, Fairy Tale, Fist of the North Star, Fruits Basket, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I mean, they just had so many series. So after looking at everything, I mean, there was just so many. I also saw a man and his cat. I'm surprised they never really fixed the reprint. That was really odd to me because volume five has no number on it. I saw Look Back, which was very tempting, but after I grabbed my stuff, I headed home to do. Okay, everyone, I just got back and it's pretty late, but here is the volume of manga that I got while shopping today. It is My Happy Marriage Volume 1. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to get some more Square Enix series, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about this series, so I'm excited to read it. Excuse my cat in the background, but I just got in this package from Mercari that contains some really exciting manhua merchandise, so let's get into it. Okay, so here it is. It is in its blind bag. I have the other one uh, that goes with this. It is a shikishi, as you guys can probably already tell. Um, and it is, ah, it is a Love Jinx shikishi. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I love Love Jinx. Um, I already have one of the shishikis or shikishis, so I'm excited to add this one to my collection. Oh my gosh, like look how amazing and beautiful. The only thing that would make this better is that if it had a more colorful background, but I am just so beyond excited to have some more manhwa merchandise to add to my collection. Hello everyone, so I just got a package in the mail. It is this little one I got off of Etsy from a seller. Uh, the seller's name is, this is Tian. Uh, they have really cute merchandise and keychains and whatnot for manhwa characters and Yu-Gi-Oh! So let's get up it. I have ordered from them once before for a Cherry Blossoms After Winter keychain and it came with a really, really beautiful print and it was super well made, great prices. So the packaging is always amazing. I always appreciate this. Um, ah, okay, so I, they were having a 20% off sale when I purchased this these items. Uh, first off, looks like they included a free little keychain clasp, which is cute. It's in a little heart. Um, so here's the first thing I got, which is the this Deer Door little mini phone charm. I wanted to get Kane as well, but he was sold out, so I just settled for this one. Uh, I believe this is double-sided glitter epoxy. It's so beautiful, and I love the backing card for the packaging, and it's adorable. Okay, then here's like the main thing I was after. Ah! Okay, I've been really obsessed with BG Alex. I've been rereading everything. And I wanted the Alex charm, but it sold out, so I decided to settle for the DJ charm. DG. Oh my goodness. It is pretty large, and this is double-sided glitter epoxy, as you guys can tell. It's really nicely made. Um, so yeah, we just have the scene of where he <laughs> gives the chestnuts to Alex. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. Here's what the heart clasp looks like. Uh, when it's actually on a keychain. Really cute. These are very sturdy and they really wear quite well. Um, so excited. Um, and in case every anybody was wondering about 
the prices. Everything was 20% off when I purchased this. So, um, yeah, this uh, was on sale for $10 um, originally, but then I got 20% off of that, I believe. And then this was originally $8.75, and then I got 20% off of that as well. Oh my goodness, like $8 for this? Are you kidding me? This is amazing. It's really beautiful. Very good quality. I would like to get more charms from them. This stuff does sell out pretty quickly, so you guys will have to be quick. And then look at this thank you note. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this. Oh my god. It's Alex and DGS Sanrio characters. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. I'm totally putting this up. Oh my god, it's like, like look, my Melody and Karomi. <laughs> so cute. So here's everything that I got in this clip. I'm really happy. I love the keychains and the charm. I'm so excited to put them up on my wall. The art is amazing. Okay, everyone. So I want to redo this rack of like anime merchandise and some buttons because it's kind of janky right now. So first things first, I need to go through my merchandise and decide what pieces I want to have up here. Okay, so here's everything that I've decided on so far that I'm going to use. I need to plan out how it's going to look on the board before I decide to put anything more. I really wanted to put a lot more paper goods this time because I have not really ever had many paper goods to put up. So I'll run through what I really decided on really quick to show you guys. Starting off, we have an Assign of Affection can badge. Uh, these you guys saw me open up in like the last clip from This Is Tien. This is another charm from them. Uh, this is one of their prints, and uh, the little thank you note is really cute, so I'm going to put that up. Uh, the payback photo cards I'm also going to be putting up, as well as these two on or off um, trading cards, and then these two banana fish can badges, because they're really cute and they match the colors. Okay, so it took me a while, but I finally finished arranging everything, so I did add a few... Uh, I did add a couple of things on, the first being this A Sign of Affection can badge, so cute. And then I also added this uh, Ashling's Banana Fish keychain. I believe I got this like a few years ago from a seller Spiritus, Spiritus on Etsy. I got also added this Maki uh, Gachapon like little keychain, so adorable. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm excited to put it up. Okay, so here's how it turned out. I really like it. I just think it's so cute and I love all of the artwork and all of like the little uh, paper goods. I think it's really cute. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.